All right, so your end product website is going to be looking something like this, where essentially every single video is going to display in a form that you can always customize. So for me, I put it as news first, so the news videos are all going to show up. And also, this is uh, completely fake. I, I don't know why it's date and times like this, but it's not what time it is for me. But anyway, you, you can see that we have multiple different things. We have a title for each video. We have a description. And we have an upload date. So currently, I have it as anybody can upload. And obviously, as soon as um, as soon as soon this uh, video gets out, I am going to obviously change the URL of the site or maybe take it down. Because I do not want anything to do with what you guys are going to post in this. But anyway, it's actually insanely cool. So anybody can upload a video. Now, the only problem with this is it is... Why isn't the upload button working? The only problem is the limit is 15 megabytes. But that still lets you fit in about nearly 10 seconds. And considering you're paying nothing at all, I think it's kind of cool. I might also make a video on how to get a free domain. But yeah. So yeah, we... I add all these things. We have the feed button. We can view each video. I just sit here drawing random. See? So you see I can you can hear me, you can see the screen, and you can enter full screen. You can change the volume, all these things. And yeah, that's really it. Now if you want you can add it so only members can upload videos and stuff like that. I may show you how to do that later. But anyway, the first thing we're going to do is click create new site. We're going to click on other. Choose a template. And blank template. Start from scratch. Yeah, so anyway, the thing I really like about this website is you can customize anything you want. Basically. And that's really cool. Because the built-in blog feature is really annoying. Because you basically can't customize anything at all. Besides, like, the built-in free templates, which sucks. But, yeah, so we're going to create our free site, and then we're going to turn on dev mode. Welcome to Corvid, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. And then you are going to click on add. We're going to be adding a content manager, new collection. If you want, I can explain to you how this works, but I'm sure it's not needed. This collection is going to be called Video. What's this for? Oh, it's going to be for custom use, set custom permissions. Who can read content, who can create content, who can update, who can delete. Set and create collection. Now, of course, that would vary depending on how you want your website to be like, but for me, anyways, I'm going to be post since I don't want to set up. Uh, accounts currently we can click on exit now on that and now we're going to click on data set we're just going to add a quick data set settings of this new data set we're going to choose collection video mode is going to be read only number of items display you can always change the number of items it's going to be laggier depending on the more items so I'd say maybe 15 the most you can always add a load more feature want to and now okay we have this data set oh my goodness so so cool now we're going to add in the thing that actually displays the videos so we're going to go to lists and grids add a green repeater because that's the easiest to use we're going to delete the, these two text boxes inside this repeater because we actually want video to display and we're going to get video by adding I think it's either it's either it's either uh interactive free get exactly. Anyway, we're gonna it's like yeah okay we're gonna go to embed and single video players video upload. We're not gonna actually be uploading a video, don't worry. And now we're just gonna drag the edges of this repeater. So we click on an individual box. We can then change the dimensions of this to fit most of the page, not all of the page or just as much of the page as you want. So each video is going to have its own respective part of this box. And then we're just going to drag the this thing into there. And when you attach the item, it should show up on every single one. 
See, it shows up on every single one. And then what we want to do is drag this out a little bit more. And I'm just going to add title. So we're going to go to text. Heading 3 or heading 4 depending on how you're feeling. Edit text. Now we're going to make this text. We're, we're not going to edit at all. We're going to click on this text and we're going to link. The, connect, the, uh, connect that. Choose a data set. Video data set. What does is, what is the text connect to? Oh, it connects to title. And... What does this video connect to? Oh, it's going to connect to a new uh, value. So we're going to add a new thing. Or oh, no, 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 we're not going to, the video title doesn't apply to us. We're actually going to, the video source is what we're going to add a new collection field for. And this collection field is just going to be called video. To keep it super simple. Add. Done. Now we're going to add our new page. This is the page where we actually upload our stuff. Now, let's just upload. So this thing's going to be called. And are we going to upload? Oh, we're going to upload videos. So that's uh, the most important step to make sure that you can actually upload videos. We're just going to make this box. We're, now we're going to add a uh, input. So we're going to click on input. We're going to add the name of the video. Attach here, settings, add video name, it's required, field type is text. We're going to add a button now, and we're going to go to upload buttons. Now, they're all automatically video, I mean, they're all automatically uh, image but we can change that, so we're going to click on the gear button. Supported file type is going to be video. Let's see what's required. Select file, that's all you want. And we can always see the uploaded files and delete them and stuff like that. And now, we're actually going to connect this to data. Create a new data set. Choose collection video, video data set. File connects to video. Okay, cool. And now we're going to add a button. I'm not. I'm not going to even add the description. It 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 doesn't bother me anymore. So now we're going to add one more button. Uh, actually, a couple more buttons. But this this is the only button for now. And we're going to uh name this submit. So change text. Submit. We're not going to link it to anything. Because we're actually going to make it so only when it's successful will it link. The click action is going to be submit. When successful, a link. The link is going to be the other page that we have. Whatever you called it. For me, it's home. Done. And make sure this is also linked. It's not. So the video is going to be, uh, title is going to be connected to title. That is it. Now we're time to add a... Uh, button that's going to be the link to feed so change text feed and that's going to be page home we're going to have one more button that's going to be upload video so I do not want this at all cool absolutely outstanding okay so instead of uh, we're gonna have feed and we're gonna have one more button, and this other button is gonna be called upload because that's that's where we upload videos. That's that's literally it. So we're just gonna have two designated buttons, one for each thing. Upload. So this upload links to which page? Oh, it links to upload. So if you click upload, you're gonna be able to upload videos. What what is this? Uh, Window. Okay, that's all outstanding. Now let's actually go to home and make sure it's all set up. So again, this video is connected to data. That's connected to data. Let's publish this and see if it actually works. So let's view this site. Again, I'm going to be changing this URL or deleting the site. 
Awesome. So let's click on upload and let's upload our first video. First, let's name it that. Let's select the file size. Okay, I'm gonna select this video I already recorded. Submit. Let's just spam click this, and that should be submitted. So let's go back to our feed. If we maybe if I reload. And see, look what happens if I reload. OMG moment. See, not only does the title show up, see, also the video shows up. So that's really it. I'm going to add some more features later and just uh, show you how to do more stuff. But to be honest, that's really it. You can always play around with stuff. And if you like this video, subscribe. And that's it. See ya.